evening and welcome everyone. On this very happy, festive and joyful occasion, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this bride and groom in holy matrimony. Lewis, for years you piqued my interest, but five years ago you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The sweetest, most hardworking, passionate person I have ever known, and I am so thankful I was given the opportunity to be loved by you. When standing next to you, I feel like the best version of myself. I truly have never been happier. As Lee Bryce says, I'm hard to love, oh I don't make it easy. I know I'm not perfect, but you have always made me feel as though I am. My whole life I prayed for a man like you, and I was lucky enough to be blessed by God with you as my forever. From this day forward, I promise you these things. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals, no matter how big. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding, even the hardest of times. I will remain faithful to our vows for better or for worse in times of sickness and in health. I will love and respect you for as long as we both shall live. You have my heart and my soul forever. Forever yours, Dina. Dina Marie, the first time I said I love you, I ended up saying it first because I knew that it was true. We met in high school for a brief moment when I accidentally stepped on your foot in the hallway. We were both young and both very shy, but in that moment, my first thought was, man, she's cute. But I just apologized and quickly walked away. Years went by, a few quick encounters, always saying hello, but never getting too close until five years ago when life brought us together again. That night, I noticed one of my favorite things about you. You are so true to yourself and those around you. You are kind and caring, and you are as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside. Damn, remember Uppy Daddy? Uppy? Daddy? Uppy? <laughs> when Dina was young, and there were times when she felt scared or nervous or just needed comfort, she would reach her arms up in the air and say, Daddy, Uppy. I have so much love for her, so at any age, I was proud to be there when she needed that. Now I can say with certainty, I don't lose it. Then when Dina has feelings of fear, anxiety, or uncertainty, it will be Lou's arms that will be there to comfort her and make everything feel right. I've officially passed the torch. Right, look. <laughs> Cheers. Chendon. We wish him uh, all the best. I hope they have what Sue and I have. You wait in a really long time. <laughs> nice dress. I can't really spin, but <laughs> dance. I don't know. We'll figure it out. You are both so blessed to have found such amazing people to hold on to forever. I think I speak for everyone here when I say watching your love grow over these past years has been a gift. Cheers to forever, and as Grandpa would say, salut. Cheers, baby. Lou, Lou's easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I've got to see Lou grow up into a man of integrity, 
strength. He knows how to get things done when things need to get done. It's been a long road. Whenever my life gets dark, I look for the lighthouse. Lighthouse is always right there. That's all I can say. I, Lewis, take you, Dina, to be my wife. I, Dina, take you, Lewis, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. May the Lord bless you. May God's spirit shine into your home and into your hearts. May God give you a life filled with grace. May God grant you fulfillment, happiness, and God's most precious gift, the gift of peace in your home and in your heart and in your married lives together. I wish you may kiss your stunning bride. Surprise, Dina. <laughs> <laughs>